Have you ever wondered how a models like chatbots and translation apps seem to understand language? It all starts with representing words in a way that computers can comprehend. Unlike humans who grasp meaning through complex cognitive processes, computers rely on mathematical representations. So the word vectors are numerical codes assigned to words, allowing computers to process and understand language. Uh, in a mathematical framework these vectors are carefully crafted to capture the essence of words and their relationships each word is mapped onto a point in a high dimensional space and words with similar meanings cluster together this ability to represent semantic relationships mathematically forms the bedrock of many ai applications we interact with daily Imagine a vast multidimensional space where each word in the English language is represented by a unique point. This is the conceptual realm of word vectors, also known as word embeddings. These vectors are mathematical representations of words, typically in the form of arrays of numbers. Words that share similar meanings such as dog and puppy or happy and joyful are positioned closer together in this vector space the dimensions of this space represent different linguistic features or contexts algorithms analyze how often words appear together in sentences and paragraphs refining the vector representations to reflect the underlying semantic relationships this process of mapping words to vectors is akin to creating a semantic map of the language this allows computers to perform tasks that rely on understanding semantic relationships such as finding synonyms, identifying related concepts, and even translating languages. One of the most powerful applications of word vectors lies in their ability to quantify semantic similarity between words. Words that are closely related like cat and feline will have a smaller distance between their vectors compared to words that are semantically distant such as cat and airplane. This concept of semantic similarity has far-reaching implications in various natural language processing tasks. In search engines, word vectors help identify and return results containing words that are semantically similar to your search terms, even if they don't match exactly. Furthermore, word vectors enable computers to perform analogical reasoning with words. A classic example is the analogy king is to queen as man is to woman. This ability to perform mathematical operations on words to derive semantic relationships is a testament to the power of word vector representations. Section 4. The Challenge of Polysemy words with multiple meanings. While word vectors have revolutionized the way computers process language, they face challenges in dealing with the inherent ambiguity of human language. One such challenge is polysemy, where a single word can have multiple meanings depending on the context. Traditional word vector models typically assign a single vector to each word, regardless of its different senses. This can lead to inaccuracies in tasks that require disambiguation of word meanings. To address this limitation, researchers have developed more sophisticated techniques like contextualized word embeddings. These models such as BERT take into account the surrounding words when generating a vector for a word, capturing the different senses of a word based on its context. Section 5. Context is King Bert and the Rise of Contextualized Embeddings The advent of contextualized word embeddings, particularly models like Bert, marked a significant leap forward in natural language processing. Unlike traditional word vector models that assign a single static vector to each word, Bert 
generates dynamic representations that are sensitive to the context in which a word appears. BERT achieves this by being trained on a massive dataset of text using a technique called masked language modeling. During training, the model learns to predict missing words based on the surrounding context. This process forces the model to develop a deep understanding of language structure, semantics, and context. The impact of BERT and other contextualized embedding models has been profound, achieving state-of-the-art results on a wide range of natural language processing tasks. Section 6 Word Sense Induction Deciphering the Right Sense While contextualized embeddings like BERT have significantly improved the way computers handle polysemy, the challenge of automatically determining the correct sense of a word, known as word sense disambiguation WSD, dedition, remains an active area of research. WSD involves analyzing the context surrounding a word to determine which of its possible meanings is most appropriate in a given situation. One promising approach involves using clustering algorithms to group together different instances of a word based on the similarity of their surrounding contexts. By analyzing these clusters, WSD systems can assign the most appropriate sense to a word based on its surrounding context. Section 7. The Future of Language Models, Advancements and Applications The field of natural language processing is constantly evolving with new advancements emerging at a rapid pace. As language models become more sophisticated and capable of capturing the complexities of human language, their applications continue to expand. One promising area of research is the development of even more powerful and efficient language models that can handle multiple languages seamlessly. These multilingual models have the potential to break down language barriers and facilitate cross-cultural communication. Imagine a world where you can effortlessly communicate with anyone, regardless of their native language, through AI-powered translation tools. Moreover, as language models become better at understanding and generating human-like text, they are poised to revolutionize various industries. The possibilities are endless, limited only by our imagination.